Hey, I'm Bowen. We're here in San Francisco, California at Alamo Draft House to play Pinball Magic, the first game from Capcom Coin-Op, the short-lived pinball manufacturer in the mid-90s. Uh, this game has a progressive series of tasks that the game asks you to do, which forces you to play the entire playfield, interestingly. And it, it also has uh, two-ball and three-ball multi-balls, as well as some difficult tasks like silencing the critics. We're going to try to take you through the sequence of tasks that you need to learn if you're going to be playing this game in competition, and also the differences between the two and three wall multi-ball that can have a significant impact on score. Welcome, child, to my magic dimension. All right, we're going to try to speed run through this magic dimension by finishing off the tricks and getting to Matra Magna as quickly as possible. These tricks give you access to uh, higher scoring tricks. So playing for tricks is probably the best way to play the game as far as uh, seeking a high score. The first trick is that center loop that you can just plunge it, then the captive ball, and then the center ramp. Uh, let's hit that captive ball for 10 million. Then the center ramp for another 10. In each case, you can shoot a lot of these shots from either flipper, but if your preferred flipper is the other one, just use a post transfer. A center ramp, then the left ramp, then the center loop, then the left ramp again. And the left ramp is trick number four. There it is. Awesome. That's 40 million for four shots, essentially. The fifth trick is to shoot that center loop twice, so you can get it once for a plunge. And I've even backhanded the, right, the left ramp for the sixth trick. Pretty quick run through the sixth trick. The last trick of level one is to silence the critics. And you have to let go of the flip, push the flipper button again so that it falls off this magnetic rail and into that hole, boom! If you can't do that, then you're not gonna get very far in this game and you should switch to multi-ball. It's unfortunate because that is kind of a gating part that uh, silenced the critics. Uh, we are now at the eighth trick, which is Banish the Snake. It is the hole, but the hole will also start a two-ball multi-ball, so let's go for that. Then in the hat! The magicians will also tell you what to do, so if you don't know, just hold the flipper for about five seconds, and the guy will yell at you and tell you what to do. Uh, In two ball multi ball, the left ramp is worth the jackpot of 20 million, and the relight is the right loop. So, jackpot on the left ramp. Easier said than said, I guess, in my case. Ramp, 20 million. Hey, 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 jackpot. Right loop is the relight. And if you're trapping up, you often won't see these displays because the. Uh, uh, the status report kind of takes over. Now, there's the relight. Not going to get around to get a second jackpot, I'm afraid. I think. Maybe. Nope. Not, not quick enough. During the multi-ball, you can also uh, continue making tricks. So in that case, the ninth trick was the captive ball. I could have just shot for that and gotten 20 million instead. And progress. So it was a better choice, typically, in two-ball multi-ball to just continue playing tricks. Uh, I'm also going to pick off the last letter in magic to light the lock instead. You need to complete either of the banks of targets, be the three bank or the five bank bad catch there, it cost me the ball. Uh, taking locks when they're available to you is usually a good idea. Magic is also the bonus multiplier, so hitting the magic drops can uh, give you quite a few points. And it will always light the lock, too. Getting a two-ball multi-ball is another game available to me right now. I could just take it. Three-ball multi-ball is more valuable, and the reason for that is that you can make the jackpot... Huh, that was a good live catch. Uh, you can make the jackpot worth more than the 20 million that it is worth in two-ball. So, completing magic again. That increases the bonus multiplier and lights lock. Lock it up. And then we're going to flop the ball into the hat on a short plunge to start three ball instantly. If you miss the hat, it's not that big a deal. You just have to shoot that shot. But plunging into the hat is really good to start the multi-ball. Left ramp is jackpot. Right loop is 
still lives even now. And what the right loop does now is it raises the jackpot by 10 million. So you not only can cash jackpots for 20, you can cash them for 30 or 40 or 50 or 90 or whatever you can manage to get. I don't know if there's a cap on it. I know that if there is a cap, it's at least 90 million. All right here, we've, we've increased the value of the jackpot now to 50. And we've got a ball bouncing around on the bumper there. Uh, let's just wait. And then see if we can get one to the right side to make a 50 million jackpot. Or we could just uh, raise the jackpot some more. Oh, bad, bad, bad. Trying for the sneaky backhand for the man, jackpot. Give me that! Oh! Let's come back around again for another jack, for another multi ball. You know what? It's not hard. It, you just have to get two completions of any bank of targets and then take the ramps to light the, to uh, get the locks. Yeah. The same ramp that I couldn't make for jackpot, of course. So, even though I said at the beginning that uh, playing for tricks is kind of where it's at, there's also a lot of value in playing for strictly three ball multi balls and trying to get the jackpot up to 40 or 50 million and make a bunch of those big big time jackpots. Taking a two ball multi ball, it's not, it's not wrong to take that and certainly some, some player situations can cause you to want to do that. Uh, but the three ball multi ball is where it's at. Also something to point out there that I did with the left flipper is it rotates the three stand up lights on the left side giving you the ability to hit those targets without having to hit all three. Two locks, short plunge, hat, three ball multi-ball. Let's not screw it up this time. Jackpot is 20 million. And there's one jackpot, 20 million. Jackpot is relit. Wait, what did you say it was 50? Oh, wow. I did not know that. It keeps the value? Maybe it... Maybe I kept the value because I screwed up and got nothing. That's uh, that's very interesting. I'll have to look and see. Get, we'll have to get another one and see if it uh, stays 50, 60, or if it goes back to 20. Yeah, so 60 million jacks now instead of 20. And this is a huge, huge load of points to throw. Uh, now you say, well, what do I do? Do I take 60s? Do I just jack it to 70? Well, I'll just take a 60. 60 million shot? Of course I'm going to take a 60 million shot. And that's the end of that. That was pretty nice. So, big value there. And it's not hard to get. Lock one is ready. You're also getting multipliers from completing magic. So, you're compounding your interest a little bit. I just need to hit one bank of targets, either the, the three bank on the left is the easiest one now, so I've rotated the target over, so I'd only have to hit the top two. Managed to pick off that uh, <laughs> captive ball, which was the target goal for that. This one is the right loop, the fourth trick of level two. The fifth trick of level two is the multi-ball start, so now I definitely want to just start multi-ball. I don't want a two ball multi ball, I want a three ball. So I'm not going to that. I'm just coming across post transfer, lock up, two balls. And now it'll be interesting. I don't know what's going to happen. I think the jackpot's going to go back to 20 million here, but if it's at 60, then uh, then we really know how to play this game. Either way, even if it's back to 20, it gives you, it gives you an interesting uh, little trick that. Uh, I, I would uh, exploit, if you will. Be careful what you wish for. All right, jackpot is lit. I wish for jackpot. Be careful what you wish for, for you may come true. You may be stuck playing pinball magic in a movie theater in San Francisco. And then you may be making fun of some guy's voice who was probably told as an actor to sound just like this. Cool, oh, there's a good shot. 20 million for doing nothing. So, just like the, the magic of the ball. Like, this is not good acting. But maybe they were told to do this. There's a jack. Is it, is it 30? It's 70. Oh, crap. 
Wow! All right, so what we've learned is that the jackpot in the three ball multi ball carries over from multi ball to multi ball regardless of the. Behold, the magic of the 70 million jackpots. Yeah, baby! Wow, this is, this is news to me. I guess they usually don't get uh, more than one or two uh, jackpots. But now you might say, well, let's, fine, let's, let's keep building it. Let's build it to 80. Because why wouldn't you? It's not like uh, there's an 80 million shot on a play field or something. Boom! 80. Well, maybe we should find out if it maxes at 100 or something. I'm trying here to backhand the right loop. It is possible, but uh, not, not very common. And I plunged myself right into the behold, my ability to shoot the ball into the out lane. Level two finishes with what's called a triple power play. If you get to triple power play, you won't be able to advance until you're back to a single ball play, but this woman will just yell at you, behold, until you lock three balls. So now you have to shoot the ramp three times. You know, the shot that I've been making all day, but now I can't make it because it's important. Oh, two warnings there. Um, you don't have to light the locks. This is basically like a free three ball multi ball. So you just uh, feed it over and, you know, Fine, don't shoot the left ramp now that you can't do. In situations like this where I find myself uh, crapping the bed on a shot like that where I've been making it all day, I stop looking at the ramp, I start looking at my flipper, and I make the shot from my flipper instead because I know the roughly the position on the flipper that I want to shoot it from. Post transfer over, look at the flipper, not the ramp. Boom. And I don't know why that works. It's something that only that works for me. I, I don't know what other players do in these situations. Another thing people do sometimes is to think of a shot that's in a similar position. And for me, that's the flipper. As soon as I start looking at the flipper instead of the shot, my ability uh, kind of resumes on the, the shooting there. That finishes level two. It gives me points for finishing level two. It gives me an instant three ball, multi ball. The jackpot is ready. The jackpot is big. Level three is 30 million tricks. But the jackpot is 80 freaking million. Um, the first trick on level three is the multi-ball start shot on the right hole. I'm not shooting for that hole here because I've got an 80 million jackpot to get. And, you know, while I'm at it, might as well raise the jackpot. Okay, so there was a thing you can do in multi-ball. If you have balls trapped in the wrong way and the ball's about to go down the middle, you can release the trapped balls in favor of a, a, a kind of a flyaway opportunity. Some players will instead just give up the third ball, knowing that the two-ball multi-ball can continue. Uh, and machine to machine, this is a tough call. I can't say one is better than one choice is better than another here. But um, I want this jackpot to go pretty high. So let's forget this 80 million, 90 million, whatever it is. Let's figure out what, where the jackpot maxes out at. Well, we can just backhand a jackpot for no reason at all. Uh, yeah, you know, when it's going, sometimes when it's going, it's going. <laughs> Relit. I also would very much like to relight the kickback too on the uh, the left targets um, before that happens. Uh, it didn't work out. So now, where do we go? Where should we go? We've got a 90 million jackpot ready for us if we can get to another three ball multi ball. There is no reason to do other crap but uh, go for the lock. And that was a mistake there. I'm trying for the M target there to relight the relight the lock and botched it, but. Big points, multiplier, big value. I got well, this is the highest score I've ever gotten on Pinball Magic, to be honest. Um, <laughs> there's the 30 million for completing Nostradamus level three. Uh, the next trick is the magic bank. That is magic. All right, so again, what you're doing is you're looking for the thing that's flashing on the play field, and that's your trick. There will be other things flashing. The captive ball advances, and you can finish off a trick that way. There's one trick in particular, Kenzo level three, 
It requires you to hit eight targets, and it sucks. Uh, so you can take that one and use the advanced trick on that. Advanced trick is also useful if you play one of these on location and say one of the shots is busted, you can hit advanced trick off the captive ball and get credit for that from there. But right now I just need to finish off the magic targets without dying. That would be nice, please. Or I can focus on the locks and try to just go back to a, a two or a three ball multi-ball. That's the other way to handle tricks where you, you're like, I can't make that, that's complicated. You can just wait till you're multi-ball and do it then. But that, I think actually that was probably a mistake in, in strategy. I should be going for the, the lock lit on the, uh, the three bank instead of shooting for magic right now. So let me move the little flipper there so I can get the lock lit, missed it into the center. I'm trying to hit the one that's just short. That one. Because it's kicked back on, it's lock lit, it's good stuff all around. And then when I once I lock this ball, I can finish magic, get the other lock, where I can shoot that three bank again. And get out of there. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, I've got a, a stuck ball. Stuck ball, please. Let me get the magnet. <laughs> There's a magnet on the stick in the, in the you got a magnet on a stick, please? I think we got one. Now, how long can we keep this here? Too. You got two warnings? <laughs> I gotta get this off by myself. Now, this is not actually a stuck ball in competition rules, by the way. Uh, the, the player can elect to give up and just let the ball be drained for them. But you if, the, have if the ball is stuck there, you're on your own is pretty much what, what the, the response of the, the tournament director would be. So let's see if we can get this back in. Get back in. Get back. Not there. No. 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 Oh. Oh. Concentrate. Yeah. All right. Well, we didn't get all the way through to the end of level three, the, uh, the power... Uh, Power battle. Um, let's buy in. Can we buy in? Oh, the, the button's disabled. Who did that? Sophie Lee. <laughs> Hopefully uh, this has helped you uh, understand a little bit more about the game. It's actually helped me understand a little more about the game because I now know the jackpot carries over from three ball, multi ball to another. Uh, special thanks to Atticus and Jeff Palmer. Who um, uh, they get the grand champion initials. Big thanks to Tim Jasinski, to Gene Wang, to TJ Beyer for helping with the setup here at, at Alamo Draft House in San Francisco, and to all the Patreon backers for the opportunity to film these videos. Take care.